Like I promised in this video, we are going to look at uh, the commutation relation between uh, uh, LX, LY, and LZ in quantum mechanics. So let's look at that. So here, LOX is nothing but the X component, uh, X component uh, angular momentum operator, LY is the Y component angular momentum operator, and then LZ is also the Z component angular momentum operator. So first of all, we need to find the relation between L x and ly leaving lz because the resultant will give us this ly lz so we would like to start by first of all finding the relation uh, between l x l y l x l y and we do this by expanding these so we can let we let l x ly lx ly to be equal to lx uh, ly minus l minus ly into lx so let's call this our equation one like i promised in the first Video that we are going to be more explicit in our partial differentiation so that you know why this cannot give us zero we want to show that the commutative relation of this operator cannot be equal to zero uh, but before then this call this your equation one but don't forget that this LX in this case LX, we can move this up a bit. Let's move this up a bit. So LX, our LX is nothing but YPZ. YPZ. And I showed you why this is YPZ. Uh, as we uh, try to find uh, the cross product of R cross P in the previous equation. This is YPZ and uh, our this is LY. Our LY is nothing but this is YPZ minus ZPY sorry ZPY y and our z y is nothing but z p x uh, minus x p z this is what we have here our l x and our l y so y p z minus z p y and then we have z p x minus x p z x p z so pay attention to this now we want to find the values we want to find the values of uh, we want to find the values of ly lx and ly we want to find the values of lx ly remembering that lx ly is nothing but y P Z like we have here Y P Z minus Z P Y minus Z P Y now we multiply this the dot product of Z P X Z P X minus X P Z these two things so call this equation 2 let's call this our equation 2 now like i indicated in the previous video our lx is nothing but negative uh, uh negative i h cross so it is equal to negative i h 
across of y. This is our L x which represent negative i h cross now we have this y and pz here in this case is nothing but the partial derivative d dz it is d dz minus z now v d y d d y because here we have got uh, p y so this is what uh, you will have in this case but let's uh, try to put this outside that way so this is what we have here and we want to dot this with whatever we have zpx uh, zpx so we have our negative i h cross which represent our l y now we have our z this is px so it's going to be d d x d d x d d x minus now we have our x d d z because it is pz d d z d d z let's do a little simplification for this uh, here we have negative negative i h cross and negative i h cross uh, so we know that negative i squared in complex numbers will give us negative 1. So if we simplify and factor out this negative i h cross, we will simply have negative h uh, squared because we know uh, i squared is negative 1. But now negative 1 minus uh, multiplied by h we simply just give us negative h cross squared so if we put this outside we will simply get uh what we have here now is nothing but y d dz d dz minus z d dy d dy we want to dot this with z v dx d d x minus x d d z pay attention because i will go step by step in this video and you will be able to know how to uh, manipulate this problem and ensure that uh, this cannot be equal to zero the next step here would be for us to expand this bracket. In the previous video, I didn't expand. I just go ahead to do my partial differentiation. But for the purpose of understanding, I would like us to first of all multiply these two things. Let's open up this bracket, expand it, and after that we do our partial differentiation. So it is y d dz multiplied by z d dx, and the same y d dz multiplied by x d dz so let's do that this is what we have when we open up this bracket because we know that y d dz multiplied by z d d x is what gives us this the same component multiplied by this x d dz will give us y d dz x d dz minus z d d y z d d x then plus z d d y plus because plus plus here uh, negative negative here becomes positive so this is the first thing we do now to expand now after this we go ahead to do our partial differentiation uh, bearing in mind that we have our negative h cross squared outside now what we are going to have here if we differentiate this in respect to z we will simply have our y our y ddx we have y d dx plus we are going to have y z d squared dz dx pay attention this is partial differentiation we are differentiating this in respect to uh, in respect to z. There is no z here, but we have our y. So bring the y in front. We still have our x here, so maintain this. So it is 
applying product rule, then you'll be able to manipulate this differentiation. And if we do the same here, we get y x d squared d squared v z squared. So this is exactly how you do partial differentiation because what you have here is uh, y is constant uh, differentiating z in respect to z that is 1. So we have y d d z plus differentiate z in respect uh, to x then we have d d x. So that is y z d squared d z d x. We do the same in all of these uh, parameters in order for us to do a partial differentiation. Let's see what we have at the end of the day. So in our differentiation now, this is what we have and then we can call this equation 3. Similarly, we can now find the value of ly, lx. Remember, this is simply the value of lx, ly. ly, lx is simply interchanging. This becomes ly multiplied by lx. So let's see how to do that. Take this up and then we want to continue by uh, finding the derivative, the values, uh, the values of L, L cap, Y, then we also find LX, LX, because these are all vectors. And we know that LY, LX will be equal to uh, Z, PX minus X, PZ, X, PZ multiply by just a minute let's multiply this by lx which is ypz ypz minus zpy zpy just like we did initially uh, we are going to replace these values we know what is ly is going to be negative i uh, h cross into the partial derivative z this dx just like what we did initially so we are going to so when we bring these two things together we just get the dot product uh, like we did earlier in lx ly so if we expand this bracket we simply have negative h uh, squared of course you know wh how i get negative h cross i factored out negative h since we know that uh, i squared is negative one so here you will have negative uh h into when we multiply these two things we will simply get uh, z v dx y d dz d dz minus z minus z d d x d d x into z uh, d d y d d y minus x let's have them down so let's go ahead now and differentiate partially differentiate this the same way uh, with it, you remember how we did partially differentiate this. So let's go ahead and also partially uh, differentiate this and see what uh, we will get. So here we can call this our differentiation to be equation 4. Now let's subtract equation 4 from equation 3. If we do that, we will simply get uh, our LX, LY will simply be negative H cross squared. Uh, this case, we have Y, V, DX minus X, D, D, Y. That's what will be left in our LX, LY. And this will simply be H cross squared into x v dy minus y d d dx 
So therefore, this 